Good morning, Mira. Thank you all very much. It's great to be here um, for Kriacht. Uh, really looking forward to sharing the music I've written uh, for everyone tonight. Um, so yeah, I'll start off by uh, telling you all a little bit more um, about Kriacht for those that might not know. Um, and uh, Kriacht, uh, which means courage in Manx Gaelic, is um, a new suite of music that I've written uh, that just kind of celebrates the stories of some women uh, that have helped shape the, the history of the Isle of Man uh, from uh, 1800s to present day. Um, so we'll be looking at aspects of their story tonight. Uh, and by no means is it, uh, you know, does it tell their uh, complex and multifaceted stories, but I hope that uh, you take something away from this performance and uh, maybe get encouraged to go learn some more um, about it. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy to be here uh, and to have uh, some fantastic musicians joining me uh, to, to play you some music. Um, so we're going to start off um, in the 1800s uh, with Sophia Morrison. And Sophia Morrison um, was born in 1859 in Peel. And fun, fun fact uh, that we only learnt this week, um, when we were rehearsing uh, for Kriacht, um, down in the Manning Music Shop, um, uh, we found out that that's where she was born. So that was really special to play the music that we've written about her um, there. And uh, she was a, a Manx cultural and language activist, um, a facilitator of many things, a, a collector. Um, and uh, she made an invaluable contribution to um, all things Manx, I'd say. Um, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna start off. Um, with a piece called uh, My Dear Miss Morrison. Um, and as I said, she collected um, Manx language, uh, Manx music, uh, but uh, she did a lot with Manx folklore. Um, and in her many different roles in her life, um, she was, well, one of them was being a founder and secretary of Encheshire Gilgach. Um, she built meaningful relationships and and she built up a network of like-minded um, collectors and folklorists. Um, and the first piece is, is about that and how she would use that network to help facilitate, shape and support the work of others. And I went into the Manx Museum uh, and uh, I looked at the Sophia Morrison papers and there was letter after letter um, with her corresponding with people all over the world. In one of those letters, um, it was addressed to her, uh, my dear Miss Morrison. So that's the title of the first piece uh, that we're going to play for you. Uh, and it's kind of, not only does it kind of tell you uh, how well regarded she was uh, by, by her friends, it's kind of a nod to all the work she did helping shape and, and support uh, the work of other people. Um, so this is my dear Miss Morrison.
Good, am I there now? Thank you very much. You might uh, notice some lovely um, artwork being projected onto the stage here. Um, and I wanted to say at the start that, yeah, it's been lovely to collaborate with uh, the fantastic illustrator Joe Davies um, on this project. Um, and that's the, the work you've seen through in the Athol Room in the exhibition and the, yeah, the, the lovely um, artwork you see projected on stage. And that's another important thing in Kreacht. It's about collaborating with other women, so that's been lovely. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm joined by some, some women on stage. I'm going to introduce you to them. So I've got the fantastic Anna Garvin on keys, and she's uh, woo, yeah, uh, she's come uh, all the way over from Scotland, especially for this. Um, and it's the first time on the Isle of Man. How are you, you finding it? it? Yeah, it's been, it's been a busy few days, but we've managed to squeeze in the odd Davison's ice cream and all the important things, don't worry. Uh, and of course, uh, uh, a name and a face that uh, you'll know very well, Mira Royal on the harp. <laughs> um, yeah, and uh, for this next set of uh, tunes, um, I've got Katie Lawrence and Kirsty Lawrence. Whee! So um, this next um, piece is um, a nod to Sophia's work um, as a, a collector, uh, which I, I said she, she collected extensively. Um, and she had uh, an understanding and respect for the communities that she um, collected from. Um, and uh, the next piece is called The Little Footprints. Uh, and that is from one of Sophia Morrison's books called Manx Fairy Tales. Uh, so if you've heard of the Begin or the Fenodery, uh, that's where they come from. And uh, the little footprints um, in that story, um, it's all about you and the fisherman. And he, he's going out looking for themselves, the fairishin, um, and how they, they hid themselves to the mortal eye. And I drew a connection uh, between that story and Sophia Morrison, um, because Sophia Morrison was... Um, very modest and very shy, uh, and her behind the scenes work as a facilitator um, often obscured the, um, her contribution. Um, so just like the, themselves in the little footprints, um, if you just look closely enough, uh, you see Sophia's footprints all through our uh, history. So um, yeah, gonna, gonna give this one a go. Thank you. 
Good morning, Mirna. Thanks very much. Um, so we've come to the last piece about Sophia Morrison. Um, Sophia Morrison uh, should be remembered um, for her contribution to the national and cultural revival. Um, but she was also a Victorian woman, and uh, that brought with it its own ob obstacles as well. Um, and she lived um, in a time that was uh, dominated by uh, Victorian values and English colonial attitudes. Um, and whilst I've said she was a very shy person, um, I think she was quietly courageous. She played uh, an active role in campaigning for Manx education in schools. Uh, she had a public role as uh, secretary of Inchejach Gilgach. Uh, and, you know, in the late 1800s, I think that uh, that's courageous in her own way. Um, so, um, Sophia uh, passed away in January of 1917, and her friend and poet, uh, um wrote a lovely poem in her memory. And in the poem, it speaks about um, Sophia's un un uh, undying lamp and how her work brought people back to, um, as she puts it, nature's oldest call, the winds, the waters, and the curlew's cry. Um, and I really liked that idea of, um, of you know, Sophia Morrison's uh, diligent work, how it brings you back to what it means to be Manx, to live on the Isle of Man, to, to play our music, to speak our language, um, to tell our stories, um, and that that's something, uh, like nature's oldest call, that it's something natural and innate. Um, so um, I decided to write uh, Sophia a quiet wee tune uh, to celebrate that, the quiet, uh, cur quietly courageous woman that she was. Um, and yeah, so uh, homage to her everlasting legacy. Um, so this is the winds, the waters and the curlews cry. Thank you. 
Close to the heart of her loved peel, she rests. All pain forgetting, while around her still the wind, the waters, and the curlews cry. That ancient call that her St. Patrick heard, and with her quiet presence, passed away bright, burning brands that fired over island hearts and showed the sweetness in our homely ways, finding the gold and the ragged quartz. Alas, an old friend mourned, a light goes out with her that will never be lit again. Nay, friend, the bearer passes, but her lamp burns on undying, self-effacing love, unselfish aims, and clear single-hearted toil, lighted and kept it clear, while the living sparks have found responsive glow in kindred minds that through daily grinding of the mill and through the clanging turmoil of our lives will bring us back to nature's oldest call the winds the waters and the curlews cry <laughs>